Ciao and welcome to my first vlog. As you may have noticed or seen in the background, I am currently in Venice. So where better to start doing a vlog in one of the places I love. I've been coming to Italy now for since I was nine months old. I don't speak any Italian, disgraceful I know. Um, but I thought, why not? I'm going to start here. And yes, there will be a food part to this, but later on. Um, this is my first one, as I've said. Um, it's a learning experience. So I want to basically hear from you. Uh, give me feedback, tell me what you like. Uh, what you don't like, how I can improve, because you're the one watching this, I'm the one that's making it. Um, and we'll take it from there. But yeah, thank you for joining and hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I will do this throughout. I am now in St Mark's Square. I'll change it around. This is one of the busiest squares you will see in Venice completely mobbed all the time. This is really busy today. It's a very nice day. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera around, if I can figure out how to do that, and show you what it's like just now. So here I am in St Mark's Square. I'm going to take a little walk around and I'll show you some of the buildings and what it's like today. You'll get a feel for the atmosphere and architecture. Remember, everything I see will be on my blog. Enjoy. Again. Okay, so last year I went to a hotel that served a nice wee snack menu. You could get like a sandwich and a coffee for about 10 euros, which isn't bad, especially in Venice, because Venice prices can be very costly if you stay to the front. Most tourists tend to stay to the front because this is where all the main attractions are. But if you go to the back streets, you will find a lot cheaper places. Um, all, all the things that I do and see or you see in this video, um, I will do an accompanying blog post to it. Uh, so hopefully you'll get some information, you'll see what it's like. I'm gonna keep it kind of like this, so you can see how busy it is, the real Venice, etc.
here I am at the Rialto Bridge behind me. It's one of Venice's famous bridges. Um, I'm going to go over it and I'll show you what it's like. It's very busy. Um, it's got many little shops over it and the history of how it's built, if you take a look, it's standing on effectively many, many pillars of wood. Don't know how it stayed up this long, but it's genius. Honestly, take a read. Um, I'll post a link to it in my actual blog, but let's go take a wee walk. So here we are walking over. As you can see, every each side of the, the bridge, there's shops and many people. Most of the shops here are very costly, but if you don't mind paying that wee bit extra, just to say you've purchased something from Venice, then go for it. You only live once, right? Can't take it with you. So I'm now at the center of the Rialto Bridge. And over here is where you get one of the best views in Venice. As you can see today, it's actually really, really busy. Um, so let's see if I can squeeze in just to show you. If I hold this up. Once you actually get over the Aralto Bridge, there are a few markets. If you go over and head right, you'll see that there's a few markets. All of these are very cool, but the main one that this area is actually very famous for is the fruit, veg and fish market. I'll continue walking so you can see. So if you're a fan of fruit and fish, this is where it comes to. As most of you probably know, Venice is sinking. That's because of what it was built on, its foundations is effectively sand. Um, so it is sinking quite a bit. This year, 2017, these sculptures were put in place to show the water rise in Venice. I'm sure you'll be able to find more information about them, but I thought while I'm in Venice this year, I'll have a look and try and find them. If you're watching this and want to know where to find them, head over the Rialto Bridge, walk first right, take a left and carry on walking straight ahead through the, the market, and then walk to the water edge. The sculptures or the hands won't be there for too long. So I don't know the exact date, but do read up on it. I'll see if I can post a link on the blog. But I thought I'd show you while I was here. One of the main f attractions in Venice, apart from all the buildings, is the gondola rides. Um, a lot of people tend to do this at least once. The main reason being it's very costly. In 2017, when I was over here for this video, you were roughly about 80 euros per person for around 30 minutes. Yeah, it's costly, but it's, it's an experience that uh, you would only do once. Um, personally, I would recommend two. First time, go on, take many pictures and videos. Second time, just relax and enjoy. So here's a little taster of what a gondola ride is like. Good morning. I'm going to go to the canal. 
Meister, you see there is the bridge. That is the biggest bridge of Venice. It is 400 years old and this old marble. This is a Carrara So as I've said, the main part of today was to do a wee bit of food review and also talk about Venice. So behind me is the Hotel Daniele, as you can see. It's a very famous hotel and I'm going to have some afternoon tea in there and I'll do a little review, but I'll show you inside as well. So come on, come on and join me. This is inside the Hotel Daniele. It's amazing. Even if you come in just for a look, it's a very, really, really nice hotel. Very costly to stay in. I've never stayed in there. I'd like to one day, but yeah, so this is inside. So I've just had my afternoon tea at the Hotel Daniele. It was very nice. The atmosphere was really relaxing. Um, if you ever do go over, even if you don't want to spend the amount for afternoon tea, do go in. You can sit in the same area I was in and have a Coke or a coffee just to soak up the atmosphere. I would highly recommend doing that. It's very nice or sit at one of the other hotels that have an outside part so you can look out at the nice lagoon and enjoy the atmosphere. So thank you very much for watching my very first YouTube video on Venice. As I said, it's the first, so it's a learning experience. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. I didn't show Venice off as much as I could. There's still a lot to explore. It's a wonderful place to visit. So if you get the chance, do take a wee trip over and have a look. Uh, thank you again. Uh, if you liked it, press that like button, share, comment. Let me know how I can improve because you're the one watching. So thank you again. Grazie and ciao.